So, welcome to India. Yes, yeah, so I've been time. to India uh, once before uh, for about a week, and I think I want companies to succeed. So we have to think beyond content. We have to think about who are these amazing people who are sharing our content. And so, if two percent of our audience is sharing our content today, wouldn't it be a great strategy to say our goal is to make that three percent? and then 4%, and the competition wouldn't even know what was happening. Exactly. Because all of a sudden, we're creating all these great advocates, which is so much more powerful than an advertisement. These are real people in the marketplace saying, I love you, you're important to me, I wanna share your story with others. That's the real power of where we need to go next. Excellent. In your speeches, I see chunks of, uh, of formats, like you have six questions uh, and six um, strategies uh, and various things, We so much we learn. Would you be able to share one of either a strategy or a question that you shared today? Yeah. Well, I think the one that really uh, resonates with a lot of people is this very simple idea of concentrating on thinking about what is special about you? And I pose this in a way to say, can you finish this sentence only we, or only I? And what is so interesting is that most companies I work with can't answer that question. And if you don't know what makes you different, if you don't know why your customers love you, you can't have a marketing strategy. You can't have a social media strategy. You must be able, because you don't know what to say. You don't know what to communicate. You don't know what's important to your customers until you can do the hard work to finish that sentence, only we or only I. And the best way to do that is to go out and talk to your customers and ask them, why do you love us? What makes us special? you share like content shock mm -hmm. it's it's a it's a powerful way mm -hmm. and content magnet and content power all mm -hmm. those things are are specifically different yeah uh, I think whatever you're teaching you're following that um, where do you get those inspiration or ideas or in other words what kind of blogs and whom do you follow yeah well uh, it's not really as complicated as you might think because whenever I write something that nobody else has really written before. If you look in the comment section, I'll bet every single one of those posts, you will see people saying, how did you know I was thinking this? How did you know we were just talking about this at work? And I think the key to standing out is you have to be original. And to be original, you have to have the courage to be yourself, to add yourself to the story. So the difference isn't necessarily the idea because in the comments, lots of people are talking about the same thing. The difference is I had the courage to say it. I had the courage to put myself out there and say, I see something's different now. I think things are changing. And some people are unsettled by that. They don't want things to change. As human beings, we love balance. And life isn't about balance. Life is about changing. And we can't run our businesses or our lives on what we wish for. We have to run our businesses on what is. And so I try to say, what is? And that's unsettling to some people, but I think it's not because I possess some special source of knowledge. It's just because I have the courage to say it and other people don't. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah, uh, you, you, when you started, you talked about how you know advertising began, and that was a one-way ticket to you know moving away from moving people away from your from what what you're really offering. Mm. Um, that was very interesting because um, I work with really small businesses, and they are like ten employees kind of thing, and all of them are into their work, and but they all want to be on social media today because everybody is. Yeah. And um, I tell them that you know be on social media, like start off with LinkedIn group discussions, forget that you're marketing and just 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 join the discussion. Yes. So uh, a lot of them don't have a complete understanding of where social media will take them. 
and if if I explain that you know it's going to take you one year yeah. to reach the awareness level and another yeah, year right. to convert into sales, it becomes really really challenging. Yeah. However, at the same time, I think that if they don't start now, yes. they're going to fall further and further behind. That's exactly right. And I think one of the examples I gave today kind of speaks to that. That if you don't start now, will you be relevant? Sometimes you you can't worry about uh, how long is it going to take to make money. Sometimes we have to worry about, will people be able to find us? Will people be able to learn about us? We have an entire generation, uh, by 2020, 50% of our consumers will be millennials. To many millennials, Facebook is the internet. That's where they find businesses. If, if, if you want to hire a millennial, the first thing they're gonna do is look at your Facebook page. So there's lots of other reasons other than just making money to be on some of these social platforms. You have to think about, am I gonna be relevant? Am I gonna be able to connect with the new generation of consumers and the new generation of, of the best people I want to employ? I have to be relevant. That's, I, I think that's an important question to ask. And you also spoke about